So today I am doing a update check-in with my experience with the Ordinary skincare product line. Um, I will link in the little card above here the original video because I'm not going to go into depth about what I talked about in that video. This is just surely just an update and I want to mention some new products that I've added in for those of you who have been asking. First of all, I would like to say, a little disclaimer, by no means am I an expert in this field. Literally Google and um, The Ordinary's website, Beautylish, have been lifesavers for me for figuring out what I want to use and how I want to use it. This is just what's working for me. You guys know the deal, right? Or I'm not saying it's right, just this is what's working for me. Okay, we're all on the same page. Let's move on. Okay, I literally just got out of the shower, threw on a t-shirt. Um, I haven't put anything on my face yet. I haven't even put any of my normal skincare stuff on. This is what my skin is doing. I started using this um, like middle end of September. So it's been four months since I've been using these products. I can honestly say my skin is in the best condition it's ever been in. Is it anywhere near perfect? Absolutely not. But it is something that I desperately recognize in my skin. All of my acne scarring um, on, sorry, my camera's opposite, so there's weird for me. All of my acne scarring that I have f had for a very long time, the kind of like permanent texture that it leaves behind are gone, super smooth. The melasma above my lip right here, which always nicely makes it look like I have a dirt like ring <laughs> around my lip, has faded tremendously. As you can see, I have a birthmark. The sun damage on this side of my face is so much worse. And I honestly think it's because when I was young, I tanned all the time, right? But because of my birthmark, I have a high risk of skin cancer and the texture of it changes and stuff. It certain times in my life I've had to go to the dermatologist and have it checked out. And but when I would tan, I would always cover this side of my face. I know. <laughs> I honestly think that's why I have so much more sun damage and hyperpigmentation on this side of my face. I used to get around the time of the month I would get really bad like cystic acne where it's like those deep like it penetrates your soul pimples where it feels like it's like attached to the bone kind of painful and I might get like one of those every two months or so now nowhere close to having like five or six every month that I would get. These are the, I'm gonna tell you guys all of the products that I use and then I'll kind of briefly talk about the ones I talked about in the other video but mainly I wanna show you guys a demo of the new ones that I've been doing. So I use the Ordinary Buffet Serum. Lactic acid 10% plus hyaluronic 2%. Now I believe they have changed this formula since purchasing this. So this would be the old one, you would get the new one. The new one is actually supposed to be better in a more stable base. So when I run out of this one, I'll be repurchasing that one. The Advanced Retinoid 2%. So those are the products that I've discussed in the previous video. Now with using the retinoid and the lactic acid, I, the main I did notice the brightening of my complexion and helping to even out skin tone, but the main thing was fine lines and wrinkles and the texture of my skin improved dramatically and the reduction in breakouts. That's what I noticed with those products. But I still have this lingering um, hyperpigmentation. I have only been using these products for maybe a month, so I'm not expecting huge results yet, but fingers crossed. These are the new products that I've added. I've added Alpha Arbutin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. This one is directly targeted for hyperpigmentation and dark spots, so that's why I added this one in. If you guys watch my other video, you know. I order my ordinary products from Beautylish. Highly recommend getting them from them because they come with these handy dandy little cards and also they come with a sticker pack that you can actually like label your stuff, AM, PM, what days you want to use it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. So the Alpha Arbutin, the little card, tells you when to use it, suggested products to use it with, what not to do, what to do, all that stuff. 
says it's a water-based serum with high concentration of alpha arbutin, which fades dark spots and hyperpigmentation, a next generation form of hyaluronic acid, enhances the delivery of alpha arbutin, and promotes a smooth, plump skin texture. A few drops to your skin in the morning and at night before oils, moisturizers, and creams. Um, this does tend to dry out my skin. Um, it is recommended to be used with the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, which I do. I mostly focus it right here on this side of my face, because um, this and then my above my lip right here is where I want to. I was doing it all over my face, but my birthmark gets really dried out, and because it's already raised and textured, it's looks that much worse under foundation. So I'm now just using it on this side of my face mo mostly. So I use the Alpha Arbutin 2%. I let it soak into my skin and it can be used with a retinoid. So every other night I use my retinoid with it and then every night I use the cold pressed rose hip oil. The rose hip oil is also designed for brightening. So that one says it's a pure rosehip seed oil. This lightweight, non-greasy oil moisturizes the skin and reduces the signs of sun damage to promote an even radiant tone. I can't, you can use the rose oil in the AM or PM, but I find that if I try to use it in the AM, it's just way too oily and my foundation breaks down really fast with it, so I just use it at night. If you guys have any questions, I am really good at responding to your comments below, so if you just wanna ask me, I can tell you more information down there. This is the one I'm gonna show you. I wanted to show you bare face because I wanna show you guys this. This is the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. Now again, this is recommended to be used with the Alpha Arbutin and the Rose Sip, bro, and the Rose Hip Seed Oil. Oh my gosh, can I speak? This is recommended to be used once a week as a peeling solution I am not good at doing that. I've only used it like three t three times total. I'm bad. I need to use it more because I'm gonna show you guys before and after. I'm, we're gonna use it together real quick and I'm gonna show you guys. With any of these products, it's very important that you know your own skin type and know how sensitive your skin is. I don't have sensitive skin, so none of these products have irritated my skin, but they can. Um, especially retinoids, lactic acid, stuff like that. It's recommended to start out slow and build up your usage. Don't just like go full full ham until you know how your skin's going to react because it can make it super sensitive and you don't want that. This is not something you leave on your face. Max 10 minutes that you leave this on and it's very important that you follow directions. Like, it literally is underlined. Do not leave on skin longer than 10 minutes. Do not use on wet skin and apply across face and neck using fingertips. Avoid the eye contour and contact with eyes. And this will increase your risk of sunburn, so you're supposed to stay out of the sun and use SPF while using this product. This visibly targets texture, lackluster tone, and blemishes. The little dropper, nice pretty burgundy red shade. And I just take and drop a few little tiny drops. Being careful, I have a darker hyperpigmentation spot right here, so I try to get that. And I'm just lightly like gliding it over the skin. I'm not like, hard pressing it in there. So I'm gonna just go off camera and do that real quick because it's really hard to do while looking in this tiny little viewfinder. Okay, so as you can see, it's on my face. We're gonna chill out for 10 minutes. I have my little timer set, and I will come back with this rinsed off so you guys can see after my skin. Now, disclaimer, depending on your skin sensitivity, this can sting a little bit. I don't have sensitive skin, but it does have a prickly type, like that prickly, like little stings for about, 10 seconds when I first put it on, but it's nothing that's like painful. You just feel it, but it's nothing that I'm like, oh my God, I gotta get this off my face, I can't stand it. If you have sensitive skin, 
they recommend that you build up to the 10 minutes. Like start with just two minutes and build up. All right, so 10 minutes is up. I went and just washed that off my face. I don't know if you guys can tell, but in person, my skin, oh my gosh, it feels so good. So good. I, I even got my husband in love with this stuff. He, <laughs> I made him use it one time and he was like, my skin feels really nice. <laughs> I'm like, right? It does. It totally does. It is so soft and just so bright. It is the most instant gratification mask that I own. It just is so nice. So after I use that, since it's daytime, I'm going to use my buffet on top of it. So the buffet serum for me is actually very hydrating feeling. So I'm really just going to press that into the skin. The rose seed oil would be your best option that you want to use. But after I'm done filming, filming this, I do need to do my makeup. And if I use the rose seed oil, my makeup is not going to stay on. It's just because I have that oily combination skin, the oil doesn't fully like sink into my skin. It just doesn't work out. So I use the Buffet Serum and then um, I will just go right in with whatever primer I'm using. I normally wouldn't do this mask before putting on makeup. I normally would be doing it after I take off my makeup, so that kind of is going to mess up the rest of my day. But I wanted to show you guys how good that mask works. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys like the check-in. Hopefully you guys can see a difference like I can, because I really can. And that's that's the most important thing. You look at your skin every day, nice up close and personal, and I feel like that's the best indicator of change is how you feel about your skin. Um, and mine is so much better. Still a long way to go, but so much better.